Toby, if I could start with you, you were on the field. That was an incredible finish, um, which I imagine is painful, but it's give you a lot of pride how close Middlesex took that. Yeah, I guess, you know, we, we knew coming into this game we had to try and force a result, and obviously coming into today, we had a pretty clear picture, and yeah, we asked the guys to give it everything and, and to truly believe that every result was possible, and I think that showed on the pitch there, the way that we've hung in after a good opening stand and only being one down for 70-odd, and then the way that we've hung in there and, and stuck in and, and knew that once we got one, we could really sort of make things tricky and, yeah, t took it right down to the wire and, and just wasn't to be, unfortunately. But, yeah, definitely proud of the guys and I think, you know, we'll look back and, and suggest that we probably haven't been in enough situations like that where we've really been able to, you know, I guess, fight our way in close games. We've probably just been out-wrestled too early in matches and not been able to compete like we have done up here over the four days. So, yeah, kind of, kind of a shame. Johnny, the morning session probably couldn't have gone much better. You couldn't have asked for much more from them. Um, similarly, the evening session, um, it was just a brilliant start by knots to that innings, really. Otherwise, that was ne nearly the perfect day. Yeah, as Toby said, we, we, we sort of had a figure in our head that we were comfortable defending and trying to leave ourselves enough time to, to get the wickets. Uh, that worked out perfectly. I thought Sam Robson would, uh, sort of anchored the innings absolutely beautifully. Uh, and everyone else played around it. We got to the total we wanted and the sort of overs we wanted, and then it was up to us as a, as a bowling unit to try and put as much pressure on them as, as we could. And I thought at, at seven, seven down was it, with 50 needed, I thought we were in with a real opportunity there. Uh, but those guys dug in nicely at the end there. Gave us half a sniff right at the end, but uh, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't quite enough. That was probably one of the performances of the season, wasn't it, Toby? I mean, against a strong Nottinghamshire side at Trent Bridge. Uh, again, that will in some ways fill you with pride, but in other ways frustration because it did show what Middlesex are capable of. Yeah, I think so, particularly given the fact the game's shortened with the, with the weather at this time of year. I think we've obviously had to try and force something if the game endures for, for the full four days. I think, you know, on a wearing wicket, we're, we're in a really strong position there. So, of course, yeah, that, that, that's a frustration, but, I mean, fundamentally, as a group, I think we accept that you know, over the course of a 14-game season, we've just not quite found our best form and, and unfortunately, yeah, find ourselves in the situation and, and can't really argue. You did start to hit form in the last few weeks, Sam Robson with the bat, Ryan Higgins with a century in this game. Um, that's a good sign, isn't it, as a coach, that aside who, you know, have had a tough season, but they've hit those peaks at times, they haven't crumbled at the end. I think we've we've talked all year about the difference in first division cricket and how much tougher it is and the sides are better. Uh, and the cricket is more intense and we haven't, we couldn't cope with that to start with. And we, we were very open in our change room about how we have to, uh, and, and during the winter, about how we have to cope with it and how we have to play. Um, and, it, and it has taken, as you say, probably up until this last sort of four or five games that we've actually started to perform and we've started to actually put our best foot forward. Um, and yes, it, it shows that we've got it in there, but obviously too late. Um, what it does do is it means next year we can start the season with, with positivity around how we approach our cricket. Uh, we know we can play first division cricket even though we've gone down, but we have to build a team now uh, and a squad now that, could, that not only can compete in second division cricket, but when we come back up, when we come back up, mm. um, that we can compete and we can, and we can push these boys. 2017 felt like a very painful relegation off the back of the championship. Is this one, as you say, there's been moments this season that have looked good, not so good. A rebuild perhaps required a little bit. Is it better to rebuild in Division 2? Ideally, you'd have done it in Division 1, but get the act together again next year. As you say, start well, try and get back up as quickly as possible. Absolutely. It's something we know as a group, we've spoken about it up in the change room over the course of the season, that First Division cricket now is, the gap is massive and you've got to play a certain way and you've got to be switched on from the start. You know, I think the reflection on our two batting points up until this game shows that where we've you know, let ourselves down and I think we average something like 70 more in the second innings than we do in the first innings and we've got to start doing that in first innings against high quality attacks. Um, so yes, you know, it, there, there are always positives you can take but at this present time, you know, we are gutted and disappointed that we've we've got relegated and that we've played the way we have this year. We know we're a better side than that, but we've got to show it, we've got to prove it, we've got to do it consistently uh, week in, week out. Last thought, Toby, um, without your old mate Mercer, who retires this year, it's probably going to be a, a much younger looking side next year. For Middlesex, one that you're enthused about leading? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think we spoke there about how, obviously, in the progress of everyone's career, you know, you're going to have ups, downs, and it's about how you recover, how you fight back, and, and that goes for the team as well as the individuals. You know, we've got to find a way to, like you said, build on, I guess, what's still a hugely disappointing year, but at the same time, find positive in that it gives everyone a chance to reflect. You've, you know, a lot of people have found out things that they probably struggled with. You know, other people have shone and found their strengths, so we'll, we'll keep looking to build on that. And like you said, obviously, you know, frustrating, I guess, in the end to, to come up short like we have. But there, there's reason, I guess, to feel like there, there's optimism in terms of the future and how we'll look to, to build on these results. And yeah, hopefully, come back stronger next year. Thanks for your time today in this season, gents. Thank you.